Today, we're gonna be looking at the new Air Compact mini fridge and freezer. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down there. Like I said, we're checking out the new Air mini fridge and freezer sitting back there behind me. Um, new Air reached out to me. I've worked with them before on a few different products, an evaporative cooler and an ice maker. That ice maker I use every day, great product. So here's another one they reached out to me. Now they did send this to me, so I did not pay for this, but it is not gonna sway my review. I will still give you an honest review. And I get offers all the time from companies to do reviews. And I don't just do them all. I turn most of them down. You know, if the products that I can just tell that like, I'm never gonna use that, I have no need for it, I'm not gonna do a review on it. So it's usually the only products that I either have some interest in or I know I'm gonna use are the ones that I'll accept to do reviews on. The new Air 3.1 cubic feet compact mini refrigerator with freezer, auto defrost, and can dispenser. $249, looks like it's on sale, regular $299. You can get it in two different colors, black or silver. And I was looking closer at that, because I'm like, I asked for silver, I looked in the email, but I don't think it's black because the black on the handles and the sides are a little different than from that. So I think this is the silver. It's just looks different. Not as silvery as here, I'm guessing. I could be wrong. I like it. I have no complaints about it. I actually like this color better. I mean, cause it is. Because I think the silver is supposed to be stainless steel and that's what this looks like. I don't know. I'm, is it black? Is it silver? It looks black, but I think it's silver. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I enjoy it. I like the color of it. I like what it looks like. All right, like I said, $249. Um, it comes with a couple little accessories, tiny, cute little ice tray. And as you can see from the video, um, plenty of room for a big ice tray. So you don't need to use this little tiny, tiny one. You could actually put a regular size ice tray in there. And then it comes with this little ice scraper, which I wasn't sure what it was at first, but I think it's to scrape out any ice that builds up in your freezer there. So 3.1 cubic feet is the size of this. So the actual dimensions height wise, it is 33 inches high or 83.82 centimeters high. As far as the depth from the front to the back, 20 inches deep or 50.8 centimeters deep. And then the width is 18.5 inches or 46.99 centimeters. Then as far as the energy efficiency of this, I'll hold this up here so you could pause it if you want. Otherwise I will read it to you. Um, estimated yearly energy cost, $32 uh, with comparable models. Those are anywhere from 20, 25 to 44. So it's right in the middle. And again, your cost will depend on your rates in your area. Uh, Estimated yearly electricity use, 270 kilowatt hours. So not bad, what, 30 to $40 to run that for a year? When they told me they were sending me a mini fridge, I'm thinking a mini fridge, something like you'd have in say a hotel room, you know, one of those little tiny ones that probably doesn't even have a freezer. And if it does, you open up the, the fridge door and you have that little freezer box in the very top that you open up another little door that you can fit like a couple things where this ice tray would be about as much as you could fit in there and a couple things of food. This is a full, has a full freezer door on it with lots of space in there. Like I said, you can fit a, multiple ice trays in there, plenty of food in there. This to me, yes, it is a mini fridge, but it's not a mini fridge in the way that I think of mini fridges. This is like a big fridge that's just been like shrunk down a little bit. When you open up the door in there, you got, you got a can dispenser on the side where you can you know, stack up your cans of soda and pull them out from the bottom. You have some other shelves on the door. Inside the fridge, glass shelves. You have like a produce drawer on the bottom there. I mean, this is the fanciest mini fridge I've seen. Granted, I mean, it's not like I've seen tons. I look at mini fridges all the time. I used to work in a hotel, so I know what our mini fridges looked in a hotel. So I'm comparing it to those. This is fancy. So you have a knob inside too, where you can adjust the, the temperature. You can set it on low, medium, or high, and just set it to where you want the temperature of your fridge. You can adjust it accordingly. I don't know if you can hear it. 
you can probably hear the sirens and it's starting to storm outside, but I can, over the wind noise, I can hear the wind more than I can hear that. It's just a light hum. Let me get a little closer to it. Yeah. Just the slightest bit of humming coming from the back of that. So it's not loud. If it's not one thing, it's another. I started filming this a little bit ago and they started mowing the grass out there. I'm like, ugh. And usually I'm so invested in the video, I tone out all the noises. And I, as I'm halfway through, I'm like, oh, they've been mowing this whole time. So now they stop because it's starting to rain outside. Ugh, if only this room was completely soundproof so I didn't have any noise from the outside. Maybe someday. So there you go, the new air compact mini fridge and freezer. Who is this good for? Uh, I wouldn't say this would be one for camping so much. I mean, you could, maybe if you have a really big motor home and you have the space to take something this large. I don't think it's one of those, you know, because I've seen people camping and they have the smaller mini fridge, but they just want something to store a little extra stuff. So I don't know if it's so much for that, but say you, I don't know, maybe you live with roommates and you just have one fridge in the apartment and you kind of like, well, we all have our separate shelves, but I would like my own stuff. This could work. I mean. Look, it's in this room here. My studio here is the size of, it's basically a bedroom turned into a studio. Sitting in the corner, doesn't take up much space. It's not loud. I could sleep in here because I run a fan at night anyways. So that's not gonna bother me, that noise from there. And you have enough space in there to where you could keep all your stuff in there. You have your frozen goods, you have your produce, everything. It's a miniature size. So if you just need a fridge just for yourself and you don't have a fridge, that's a great option, a really good option. Like I said, if you're living with someone else, like a roommate or something, and you need something, say, you can put in your room, that's, like I said, super good option because there's lots of space in there. It's big, but not too big. So there you go, the new Air, and I will leave links in the description to where you can pick this up and leave it in the comments. Have you tried it? Have you got it? What do you think of it? Is there any other models out there that you think are better? And if you go onto the website, they have a lot of different products. They have different uh, fridges too, just ones. If you just want to store cans or bottles in there, they have those for you too. So go ahead and check them out. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys next time. It is getting loud. Out. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Just a second. No rain yet, but uh, can you see? Let me look. Oh yeah, you can see those trees moving. Now they're gonna focus on me. Oh, heck, while I'm over here. Might as well have a soda pop. There we go. I'll see you guys next time.